understand why you're blocking low, boy. Is he gonna bring it all the way back? Oh, no, 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 okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. He brought it all the way back? All right, we are into game number one here. Oh, hello. We are 70% into the game. What's going on, guys? All right, Elegant trying to land with the Zare there. Not gonna get a connection afterwards, but he gets a dash attack and tries a downer. He does get, oh my god! Down air into uh, fire jump punch, gonna take it. T3 Great not, start. Yeah, he was not expecting to get hit by that. Not able to get the tech there. I don't think anyone would be able to get that tech there. Ooh, Axe just disappearing right before he hits green, green missile. All right, very nice coming out with an air there, just challenging T3 while he's in his zone. All right, Green Missile gonna make it back. Once more, another act just disappearing before hitting Elegant, and Elegant not gonna be able to make it back that time. Very good pressure from T3 Dome, and gets the cross set up into the back air. All right, using the fireball to keep T3's uh, across out of there. Ward smashes the other direction just to put pressure onto Dome. I like the down air attempt on the tether there. He's not going to get the connection, but the two hits of down smash connecting on shield. All right, now Elegant looking to just try and keep his distance from Dome right now, just using the fireball to try and, you know, follow up with the dash attacks, but it's really just starting to look like uh, Dome has to make some sort of adjustment here. That's that's actually really interesting. I wasn't sure if you saw that just earlier. Holy fi uh, holy water on Richter, uh, since it has R properties, apparently does not flank with green fireball. Like, interesting. Green, green fireball just went right past the holy water. And it doesn't do that for Simons? Uh, Simons, it's fire on fire, so I think it would flank. I'm uh, not sure. I don't know, but that, that was a really weird fireball, but very nice edge guard. Uh, Let's trapping from T3 Dome and oh, another whiff F smash there, just a little bit misspaced. Yeah, and that's so unfortunate. We keep seeing that happen at Dome where he gets the holy water, but then they fall out of it before his forward smash can hit them. Another fireball coming out, and the angle downward for you are going to take that very nice angle from T3 and Elegant. Not going to be able to get the cyclone there. Ooh, gets a spike on the down air, but it's not going to pay off for him. And nice, follow yeah, that's the it. Guy. Yeah, and it kind of dra drags him in just a little bit. It will be enough to find that stock. Elegant sitting at a bit of a percent deficit, but it's nothing he can't do in one grab. Yeah, trying to throw out the Poltergust grab there. Not going to get it. Gets punished hard instead. He has no jump off stage. Green Missile going to make it back? No. Nope. The increased end lag on Green Missile just makes it a lot harder for Luigi just to come back. Especially against characters who can just limit your options on recovery, like Richter and the, uh, just the Belmonts in general. All right. Smash World gonna be the pick here. We have Luigi versus Richter once again. Again, a little bit not too happy with that game one. Gonna need a reset for game two here on Smashville. We also have Green Fireball, but Clanks with a whip. Yeah. And Elegant <laughs> saying you can do it, but I can do it too. I don't want to approach you either. We're just going to have a staring contest for a little bit, but it seems to be in favor of uh, T3 Dome here. Elegant already saying at 67%. All right, sends the cross back with the green fire. Very nice from Elegant here. And dash attack just to confirm off of the missed tech. Nice Ooh, great air. up air. Oh! Get up into the up B, but it won't kill quite yet. Holy, fi uh, holy water, not going to connect, but the up he will. I like connection. Oh, and TV do Dome just too far away, even for the tether recovery to connect. Forward Quick smash. response. Yeah, very nice. Just coming down immediately in holy water in his face. <laughs> oh, instant after. jab. I swear he would have A-landed if, if he was jumping. Oh, oh my god, he uses his own tether. Give me that stock, boy. I have my own whip right here. Oh, be it as a suction cup, but you're not going to come back. Yeah, and this is a great adjustment here for Elegant. 
looking really good here against T3 Dome. I like the pick of Smash Rule on the smaller stage. Doesn't give him, or doesn't give Dome as much room to set up. All right, very nice. Just going with the down, uh, with the dash back there and crashing with the down air. I love it from Elegant. He's still not dead just yet. Ooh, barely misses fair. All right, down throw. Goes for the up B again, but it doesn't kill. So Charlie and Elegant told me actually that that, that is sort of a confirm. Yeah, it's true if you can catch 30 Yeah, you just follow DI and you up B. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and what we see often is Elegant will chase the DI away for the up B, but he can still react with time to an inward DI with a back air. Yeah, and just right there, as you said it, backwards. Ooh, slap him. Aerial. Yeah, and a solid there. commanding two stock here for Elegant on game number two. Please ban Kalos. Given the brick break right there. <laughs> Please ban Kalos this time because we saw him not banning it against Nitro. Nitro went straight there and won because of it. Yeah, Kalos, a really good stage for his owner, especially with how big it is. Also has the walls just in case uh, they get a good, like, a good DI on the, on the spike. Or if they, if you're trying to go for a stage spike, it's not going to happen because of the flat walls. But going into FD here. Another holy water seed. Yeah, it goes through. That's that's so weird. I don't know what holy water does for for Richter, but very nice. Going on another holy water, trying to catch him on a ledge, get up, and going to clank with that cross on the end of Cyclone. All right, and the holy water coming out into the reverse. Nair gets the uh, cross toss as well. T3 Dome getting some good damage onto Elegant, punishing a whiff dash attack with a forward air. Right, another cross, another axe, and very nice Ooh. connection. Two hits across, just working out for uh, for Dome there into the axe. Yeah, I would say, you know, Dome's biggest strength is the way he uses the cross is very different, very strong, and he knows how to follow it up when he gets the hit with it. All right, going to make it back. All right, I love what Dome was doing there. He was trying to pressure out a jump. He gets a forward tilt as Elegant was trying to come down with an aggressive option. All right, there's the up air into the back air as well, but both, oh, but it looks like it was the south spot jumping up after the down throw with the forward air, but he doesn't get uh, the kill with that cyclone. Oh, he just missed the ledge with the forward air there. I don't think he expected that to happen, especially with no jump in his arsenal. All right, there's the fireballs again. We're seeing the projectiles coming out from Elegant, trying to force a bad option from T3 Dome as well. That that cross just trading with the fireball and giving Elegant an opening to run in with the dash attack. That's amazing use of the fireball too, because any hitbox really just sends cross back. It's a yeah. very, de very nice defensive use of fireball from Elegant. Ooh, great jump out there from T3 Dome, knowing that the dash attack is coming. Back here, uh, Shield tries to get a jab lock, but doesn't find it. Once again, the fireball into the dash tag. Oh Ooh, no. no, he turned around. No, he has no jump. Very nice catch. And hey, give me that holy water. Hits him with a bottle. I don't need this anymore. Ooh, and Elegant is getting riled up right now. He doesn't want to let this slip away from him. Misfires into the stage. Not going to get trapped into the stage there. Ooh, great up smash, powering through the uh, the cross and hitting T3 Dome. Yeah, Invincible Head does quite a bit for the Mario Brothers. Another up smash, punishing that down air in his face. That's a great adjustment we're seeing from Elegant that he hasn't been using. Uh, that's a great tool that he hasn't quite been using this set. Yeah, and T3 Dome just doing really well, mixing up his recovery on, on Elegant. Ooh, dash that kills? No, not yet, but he does get the up air to catch out the fall, free fall from up B. Yeah, and that's going to be the back air that, uh, that does it there for Elegant, sitting only at 41%. That isn't too much damage. All right, those, keeps throwing out Fireball, trying to make Dome approach a little bit more, but Dome is holding his ground, and with that, he gets the down air into Nair. Connection is across. It's crazy how Cross just still goes through stage. You mean the Axe? Uh, axe, yes, my bad. Cross definitely does not go through stage. No, but what it is doing is 
dome is setting it up at a perfect distance where the uh, turnaround is right above the ledge, so it stays right there for a long time. And just jumping over to Poltergeist, very nice. Axe, oh, and, and that kills. And T3 Dome sitting 2-1 against Elegant right now. Can Elegant bring this one back? I feel... All right. So the bands against Luigi possibly stayed the same because he's going to Smash Bros. I wonder why he didn't ban Smash Bros. It worked out so well for Elegant in the last time. I do not know for sure, but... You know, we saw a two-stock game for Elegant on game number two on Smash Bros. So I'm not surprised we see him running it right back. All right, another fireball. He's gonna clank the cross. Very nice parry on that. And Poltergeist not gonna have enough priority against the win. He has no jump here. Can Elegant make it back? Yes. Ooh. Continues Ooh. to take him across stage and not gonna get the down air. Right, Elegant trying to just find his way in with these dash tracks. Great read with the down air, or down smash rather. All right, very nice wait on the on the tech option. Just reading it with a back air there. Oh, reacting to it, not reading it. Clank with cross with dash jack. Sends it right back to its owner. Oh, and that was the up smash right there for Elegant, but he doesn't go for it. Instead goes for the back air that does not connect. Another axe out, very nice. From Dome, connecting three-piece combo, almost killing Elegant. And now will kill Elegant, the Holy Water into the forward smash. All right, not gonna be able to get up there with the Cyclone. Another great usage of Fireball there. Up smash, will do it. Elegant starting to catch on to T3 Dome's uh, get up habits with that roll. All right, gets the Poltergust on the shield there. And is he going to make it He's back? He's dead. No. He's what, dead. Oh, what percent were you at, my guy? He was at zero when he got grabbed. Oh Buffered and Nerdodge off stage and Elegant capitalizing on it. Elegant capitalizing on that grab there, too. Just sent Dome straight to 75%. Another really good usage of Fireball here. Dome has to break this zone as soon as possible. Oh, and a great Cyclone right there. Just breaking through. Knows that the Holy War wasn't going to stop him. Oh, oh, okay. Very, very nice connection after uh, after the down air with double up air. All right, and once again, we see the green fireballs just great, uh, stalling out time for Elegant, making it so T3 Dome has to approach him, seeing a 150% on his last stock, up oh. smash will do it. And like I said, Elegant has caught on to the fact that T3 Dome keeps rolling on stage. Yeah, T3 needs to uh, slow down a little bit when he's on ledge, although he has very little invincibility. Possibly go for a get up attack. Um, Elegant, as you said, has picked up on that roll and hasn't really been shielding anything yet. He just, want, he just wants T3 to panic, and T3 has been giving it to him. Yeah. All right, going into it, game number four or five? Game number five here, two okay. apiece on Battlefield for the last game. All right, this is tournament's, uh, tournament set right here. Match point here, winner will be out, a uh, uh, loser, sorry, will be out of this tournament at fourth. All right, gets another whip through the Poltergeist and the Holy Water. Ah, oh, that actually cool. interrupts. His grab combo, it hit shield, so it works on both of them. All right, throws out the holy water, and T3 not gonna fall into his own holy water. All right, squeeze right past the ax, and barely falls out of the fire. My god, the zoning from T3 is <laughs> what better. A fireball, though. Clanking with the forward smash that was looking to seal Elegant stock away. All right, another cross, Holy Fire, and Axe set up. Just getting all of, all the boys in town. All right. Ooh, Hold bad on. air dodge from Dome. Great grab from Elegant to punish it, but doesn't get the follow-up. No, follow-up is going to be the bane of Elegant's existence right now. I'm not going to be able to make it. Wait, can he make it back? 
I think the Holy Water, oh no, the Axe gonna take it on his up there. I thought Holy Water actually saved him there. Very nice combo extension with the up tilt. Yeah, great stuff there from Elegant. I kind of thought we were going to see the uh, up -y. I honestly thought up was coming too, oh! but you don't need no up when he's sending you to the depths. Yeah, no room for T3 Dome to up -beat. And he's, he gets the she stage right but tech. T3 Dome finally gets the tech on the stage bike there. She's going to get back with Foreigner. No, and Elegant oh. slaps him. Elegant on fire right now. What a great stock. So explosive right now, and now he has a whole stock lead over T3 Dome. If he plays his cards right, he will not have to worry about it. He can just get that grab. Oh, Big oh. damage. Oh, he gets the floor air. Probably, probably noticed that he was flying a little bit too far for that down air to connect. Gets the Holy Water. Not going to activate the Holy Water. And this dash stack really coming in as the MVP here for Elegant. All right, falls through the platform. Cross is going to do... T3, much, uh, very, very big favor there. But that back are doing a big favor for Elegant. Can he make it back? Yes, T3 does make it back. Yeah, what a great recovery. Going high at first. Does Elegant have a jump? Yes, he does. Going to make it back. But that Holy Water going to set up into another forward air there. Mistfire going to come back in clutch. Yeah, definitely what Elegant needed out there. All right, T3 trying to set up Cam once more. Holy Water. Oh, does not read a jump get up. Oh, and runs in with the Cyclone, knows it has its invincibility at the startup, just to break through. Down in, or down smash, not going to work. Another Axe, not gonna take it. Oh, it does oh, take it there. Holding it for just too long. Elegant on his last stock here, but he already has T3 Dome on a hundred or at 130 percent. He could still play the slow game if he can keep himself off of the ledge. Back throw, mm, okay. not going to do it. All right, gonna go with forward air, and he does make it back. All right, T3 still trying to set up camp here. Slowly chipping away at Elegant's life. Elegant a little bit too antsy for that stock. Cyclone going to send him back off stage. I love it. Another one. And that does it. Elegant takes it in a game number five. Ooh, and what? Sort of, sort of clenching that by the. Woo. And what are. My heart is racing right now. That was an intense set between two very solid players, but Elegant going to take it in a last stock, last game situation. That would get very deadpan on that, oh, yeah. on that win. Like, I had, he has he's to looking deal at with like, so much stuff. No, he's visualizing it. I just beat a Vic, uh, Richter. This is the victory screen for when Luigi beats Richter. Now he has to do it again three more times against Nitro. Pow, pow. Literally planking on the console.